Today I'm going to be making this uh, Bird's Raspberry Trifle. Um, this was sent to us by Stacy Ann. She lives over in Europe somewhere. Um, so she sent us this mix. Um, so we're going to try to figure out how to make it. It comes with all these parts, basically. You get jelly crystals. You get dream topping. You get these little uh, chocolate, we call them jimmies, sprinkles, whatever. Um, a custard powder. And then these four cookies, like these biscuits. They're calling them sponge biscuits. So what you need is, you need, um, the first thing you do is you make the custard. So you need the custard powder. You need um, one pint of milk. So this is just cold milk. And then you need one to two tablespoons of sugar. So we went ahead and did two, two tablespoons of sugar. So what you need to do first is you take your custard powder, and I'll probably need scissors just to make sure I'm not slinging it everywhere. We went ahead and put the sugar in the bowl, and we're gonna put our custard powder in there. Gonna give it a quick just get the sugar kind of mixed in okay so you want just a little bit of milk um, in here just to just to make kind of a, a, a little bit of a paste okay. so the next thing I do is I'm gonna put my milk in a pan and I'm gonna heat it up to where it's just about to boil so the, the remaining milk that I've got left over um, this I'm gonna put it in a pan. I'm gonna heat it up to where it's just about to boil or just when it's just starting to boil and then I'll be back. All right, I got my hot milk and I'm gonna pour it into this bowl, hopefully without making a teetotal mess. Yay, and I'll need a paper towel to wipe this off. Thank you, helper, for getting a paper towel and wiping that off. Um, what you do, the reason I wiped it off is because you have to pour, once I get this kind of stirred up to where it's all mixed in, you put it back in the pan. So that's what I'm going to do next. i pour this back in the pan. And I've got like a whisk over here. I've got a whisk to, to do this, so what you want to do is um, you want to heat this up until it boils. And then once it boils, we're going to take it off of the heat and, um, and let it set. So I'm going to just keep uh, kind of stirring this occasionally until it boils, and then I'll be back to do the jelly. All right, this is almost boiling. You can see it's, well, you maybe not be able to see it, but boy, I can feel it. It's really starting to thicken up. So as this is finishing boiling, I've got my water um, on to boil and I have um, 200, 200, yeah, 425 milliliters or three fourths of a pint of water. So that's on to boil while this is just finishing up. Uh, once it starts kind of, it's it's almost boiling, but it's, I mean, it's pretty much there. So, so once it starts bubbling just a little bit more, I'm gonna take it off the heat and then I'm gonna wait for my water to finish boiling. All right, custard's off of the heat, and I'm gonna go ahead and open my jelly package because it won't take long for that water to boil. And I'm just gonna pour it into this bowl. And this is a raspberry um, jelly. Mm, smells good. Okay, so while that's going, while that's finished and waiting for that, I'm gonna do one more thing. I've got my little bowl. This is just what we're gonna make the trifle in. Um, we don't have a trifle bowl or anything like that, but. You take these little fingers and you break each one of them in, in four pieces and just throw them in the bottom, basically. I'm gonna pour my water in here. This is one of the reasons I like these Pyrex bowls. They can handle heat, which is really nice. Stir this up until all the lumps are basically gone. There may be a few little ones here and there, but I pretty much, they're pretty much all gone. So now I'm just literally gonna pour this over top of that without hopefully making a teetotal mess and um, put it in the refrigerator for 30 to 40 minutes until it sets. All right, changing balls. You can see how much room we have, very little room in the top of this to hold all that custard. So I'm just gonna pour this into this bowl. And it broke up a little bit of the sponge, kind of looks a little grosser, but that's okay. Um, so now I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator and uh, let it cool off. 
All right, my jelly is firmed up and my custard's good and cool. So I'm gonna try not to scrape the bottom because um, it has like where the milk uh, scorched a little bit on the bottom. Um, it has like those black things, like burnt milk <laughs> on the bottom. So I'm gonna try not to scrape the bottom any more than I have to. Now the next thing we wanna do is four ounces of milk, cold milk, put it in a bowl. And this is for our, uh, our dream topping right here. So you got four ounces of milk and uh, the topping into a bowl. It smells like vanilla. And then get your mixer and this is going to make noise so I'm going to talk now. We're going to mix it up until it's basically uh, smooth and fluffy. Okay, so it's mixed, whipped up until it forms these soft peaks where you can take it and it kind of holds the shape. That's what you're looking for. So now what I'm going to do is take this. Let me just knock it out real quick. And I'm going to put in here. So right before you serve, which we're going to eat it right now anyway. So you take this little packet of little sprinkles. and sprinkle over the top. You probably don't want to do this too far ahead because they would get, uh, I dropped it, uh, they would get soft. So that's ready to go. So we're going to uh, put it in a bowl and I'll be back to try it. I hope I got a piece with some, uh, some biscuit in I'm it. I'm sure you did. I um, hope I did, yeah. It I looks did. interesting. It does look, <laughs> yeah, it does. It's, well, it's basically, it seems like it's just like jello with uh, a biscuit and the custard. But and their the custard is different than our pudding. Mmm. I like that vanilla. I like the raspberry. The custard is not sweet at all, I don't think. No. If, if you eat by itself, it's not very good. If you just eat the jelly by itself, it's not very good. The custard is kind of... No, it's the whipped topping. The whipped topping is not sweet. Something, something there though does taste like vanilla. There's a lot of sweetness. I think if you go through all of it. Probably those biscuits. Uh, the, the jelly, the raspberry. The yeah. raspberry has a really good so raspberry has a good flavor um it's a little weird those cook those the sponge the cookies or whatever you want to call them they turned into uh, like a cake sorry about all the shaking guido's just decided to shake his head continuously <laughs> um it's a weird texture to me because i'm not used to eating cake and jelly or gelatin together which is just a little weird right um, for me it's not bad it's just different um the raspberry has a really good flavor though the the custard it's okay. It honestly doesn't have a lot of flavor at all. Honestly, I don't think it does. Do you? Uh, no. It's it's not a very strong flavor. No. So you I kind of have to eat it all together. All the together, way. and it's really good. It yeah. has a really good vanilla. It um, it has a good raspberry. Mm -hmm. I like the the added biscuits in there yep. to uh, to give it a little something to chew on. Uh, so yeah, all together, it's a good dessert. Yeah. But. It's, it's, you have to do a lot, don't you? There's a lot to it. There's, there's a lot, lot of steps. <laughs> I mean, a, they're not hard steps. No. They're just, there is, there's a lot of them. Right. And I'd say if you buy this all the time, then you're used to going through the steps. You know the steps. And you wouldn't think anything of it. Whereas we are, you know, well, you're measuring out milk for two different things and you're, you have to boil the milk and you boil. have to boil the water. And so it, it's a lot of steps. And so, uh, but, uh, it's a nice dessert. It's something different. It's mm -hmm. very light. I can see where this would be a good summer dessert. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much to Stacey Ann for sending it to us. It's always fun to try something else oh, yeah. uh, from uh, the United Kingdom that we've never had before. Uh, so I'm going to have some pictures for you at the end and thanks for watching.